welcome to today's video. Happy New Year's. It's New Year's Day and we are doing, oh, hey, look, we match. I guess we do. We're not really doing anything today, just home stuff. We're all in quarantino, so. <laughs> Not much you can do. Not much to do, yeah. Um, we are working on some house projects. So I thought I would start the video because I'm going to be working on a project. I was telling Kyle that I was bored. <laughs> I needed something to work on. <laughs> There's like lots of stuff on the go, but nothing I can ha really help with right now. Except for passing tools and I wanted something a little bit more like, oh, I'm working on something. So um, I have decided that I'm going to start uh, taking all the carpet off the stairs. So I'll show you that in a second. Oops. I'm just gonna make some coffee and then I'll show you what the stairs are looking like. But I figured we're already working on the stairs. So this is just like, it's the same project, right? Kyle doesn't think so. <laughs> Babe, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna make some coffee and then, I will, oh geez, it's so dark in here. And then I'll, I will get started. I'm gonna show you guys what I started last night. It was New Year's Eve and I'm like, I need a project. So, Kyle being the gracious person he is, let me start a project. Um, but I ripped off the top carpet of this landing and now all this carpet pad needs to come off um but it is like crusted onto here so i have read a couple ways to try to remove it but like literally it doesn't even it gets literally rock solid on there um but you never know what's in all your home demo stuff so i need to put a mask on need to put gloves on and then i can work on this um, but yeah, safety first. All the carpet's removed from this landing, but I need to take off the carpet pad. And it's like cemented to the floor. So I've taken off all the, I don't know what it's called, but like the stuff that like holds the carpet down around the edges, all like the wood trim that was there, all the staples and all the nails. And then I tried to scrape here. I was using just hot water and vinegar and it did basically nothing I got that much off like look at stuck so I could like really chisel at it which I might have to um but I read somewhere to use a hair dryer and basically try and melt the glue off so that is what I'm gonna do and we'll see if that works um just trial and error at this moment <laughs> so yeah we'll see hopefully I find something that makes it not too difficult landing I will show you guys what it looks like um it was like really glued on I showed you obviously I found that um, just scraping it I was gonna try using the blow dryer to like heat it up and like melt the glue but uh, that was very slow so I just used um, a putty knife and just scraped and I mean I already showed you but yeah so this is what it looks like how good does that look and I had a moment of truth where I was like, will these stairs be finished or is it just junk wood underneath? And I don't know if you can see because it's so dark, but that's finished wood under there. So I'll be able to take off all the carpet and it won't just be like plywood. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, that's what it looks like. I do need to take the rest of the glue off. I scrubbed it with vinegar and water and it, I took a lot off, but I'm probably gonna have to take like that, do that like five more times or something to get all the glue off. So, um, yeah, that's it for today. I think maybe I might clean it a couple times more today. I don't know. We'll see. But I'm not gonna video any more of that because it's pretty boring. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it feels good. I don't understand why people carpet things. I just hate carpet so much. Good morning. It's the next day. Um, Kyle and I just like made a 
dinner and hung out last night so it's pretty uneventful so there's nothing really to film but today um we have a couple of things planned kyle put in a order at home depot like i said we're back in lockdown and so we just have curbside pickup so we're gonna run there pick up um the order from home depot when we come back uh he can show you what we got um and then i'm also going to or shove all done um, and then we also want to take down the Christmas tree today and just clean that up and then I'm probably gonna work on the stairs a bit more. So lots of things happening today. Um, so we're just heading to Home Depot now. It snowed overnight so Kyle's shoveling I think and then and then we'll leave. So I guess I should probably go help him at some point <laughs> instead of just standing here filming. Although that's way more fun. Let's just peek outside at him. All the snow. All right, we are back from Home Depot. Kyle, what did you get? It's not a small order, let me tell you. I only got one toy, or two, I guess. Two. What did we what get? What did you get? Paper barrier, I need lots of that. Yeah. Ugh. Didn't really do much more until we got that. No. Tool belt. Wait, you didn't get a Milwaukee tool belt? No, they were like triple the price, mm -hmm. so. I don't know if this is a good one. I mean, Klein Tools is a good company, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I have to buy the line, so it's kind of hard to judge. That's fair. What it's going to look like, how it's going to feel. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, I can't wait for you to put this outfit on. <laughs> Headlamp. Got a lot of electrical work coming up, so be working in the dark. Hands free lighting on your head. It's going to be great. I mean, it's all going the fun stuff, some electrical stuff. Yeah. Plumbing, some spray foam cleaner, and some spray foam. <clears throat> Can't go wrong. Staples. Mm. Some tuck tape. <laughs> and then electrical boxes. Hopefully, these are. Yeah, this should be the right size. Hopefully, it looks. You know, it sucks having to order online and not pick it out yourself. And it's not that I don't trust people. It's, it's just, just that I don't, I don't trust, trust people. people. Yeah. Is that the right size? Yep. Nice. Deep box. Nice. It's tough because like, I've made the mistake of buying, like if you buy multiple, then you pick the wrong one. Because they're in the same box. Even in the same yeah. box, they can be different because it all looks so People similar. grab them, put them back, not put them back in the right spot. And even like an employee, right? Like quick glance. Totally. There's like three of them that look identical, but they're different. I'd probably grab the wrong one. No, and I got done it before too. All right, that's our unboxing. <laughs> yeah, too exciting. Put your tool belt on. Put your headlamp on. <laughs> Take your shirt off. Use your knife. Look, I gave this to him as a birthday present. It's very nice. Look how nice it is. Won't need one in a pocket knife for a while. Yeah. Guys, never buy a glass table. Like, we got this for free, but I don't think I would ever buy a glass table. This is a pretty heavy duty. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. More heavy duty than my original thought, maybe. Makes me think of like a biker. He's ready. He's ready. Oh. God. Yeah, it sucks, eh? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I put the headlamp on. <laughs> I was standing like a foot away from Kyle's face. And I put it on and then I just like hit the on button and I didn't even think and it like blinded Kyle. My bad. <laughs> what? I don't know. It's so funny looking. Headlights look ridiculous. But now it's hands free. So now when I'm doing electrical work on the box. I don't have to say, hey, can you hold the light? It's hold it still. It's Stop true. moving it. I hate holding the light. But it's because I'm so short, so I have to hold it so high, and it hurts. <laughs> started on the stairs now um 
I need to get my gloves and I need to get the respirator on. And what my plan is, is to at least take off the carpet here on the stairs. I mean, the carpet won't take too long, but all the padding and all the staples and everything, take that all off. So the top stairs and then we'll see how long that takes and maybe I'll be able to do some of the landing. I don't know, we'll see. The, this landing took so long that I'm not really sure how long it's gonna take to do the stairs. So I gotta get all my PPE on and then we'll get started. All the carpet is off. And it's just like the padding and like where the nails are and everything. So just need to take all that off. So I'll pick this up once I've taken it off. Wow, my face has uh, marks on it from the respirator, but the stairs are done. They're the top of the stairs are done. That's what they look like. Look how good they look. I mean, they're dirty and scuffed up, but they look good. I'm excited. And it was so disgusting under the carpet. Carpet is disgusting and so dirty, so I'm glad to have that gone because that was gross. Actually, you can kind of see on my leggings. I think they're not even black anymore because they have so much dirt on them. And that is just from the stairs. Um, I'm gonna take a little break and then I'm probably gonna work on the landing. Wow, that line is bad. I've been wearing that respirator for like five hours. Um, okay, so I just finished the landing. Um, I have one last set of stairs to do, but I'll show you the landing first. So this is what it looks like from the top. Going down, looks good. And then I just need to do down here, but it's getting late and it's dark. So I'm gonna call it for today. Um, I'll probably pop in tomorrow, show you guys the finished stairs, and that will be it for the vlog. But for tonight, that's gonna be it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I just finished the stair, well, not just finished, I finished and then cleaned up because I was covered in dust and crap from the carpet. Um, but yeah, I just finished the stairs and so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm at the top of the stairs as you guys would have seen yesterday. But do, 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 do. all the way down, look at how good they look. So very excited about that. And then I'll show you what I found in the stairs under the carpet like an old photo there you can kind of see the actual photo um and then my friend looked this up i have no idea if this is true or not but a friend of mine looked it up and said that most likely that's from like the 70s or 60s or something so it's quite old which means that carpet has been there since then because that carpet uh, like it was underneath the carpet so how gross is that that carpet's like wait so let's say 70s that's like 50 years. That carpet is 50 years old. That's disgusting. <laughs> um, so I'm very happy to have that out of the house because uh, it was it was filthy. Um, so I'll show you, just tell you guys uh, what the plan is with the stairs. Um, I've talked about it in another vlog, but in case you don't remember or you haven't seen that vlog, the plan is to paint the walls white and then at the top of the stairs here, we're gonna do black shiplap. And then we wired for sconces on either side of the window and I wanted to put brass sconces there. And then because the stairs are wood and the back is not, my thought is I'll paint the risers and then uh, maybe refinish all the wood to a light color. So that is kind of the thought on the stairs and then we need to put the railings back up as well. Um, so yeah, so I think the next step for us is we need to put poly or like the vapor barrier on this wall here where the insulation is. We need to remove the last little bit of the wallpaper backing and then right behind me this wallpaper because that uh, hasn't been done. And then we can start drywalling. So it'll just be a matter of putting the drywall on. But because we're back in lockdown, we're not able to have someone come and help us with the drywall or get the drywall. Because of that, we can't get any drywall right now because the drywall won't fit in our little car. And we need someone's vehicle. 
and we can't have people over right now. So um, it'll probably wait until the end of the month when our lockdown finishes and Kyle's dad will probably come and help. Or we might see if we can rent a truck or van or something like that for like an hour. Like I know Home Depot does rentals. And I don't know why, I'm just not breathing properly. <laughs> um, and then we will uh, just pick up the drywall for that as well as probably for the spare room. We'll probably do the two together. So yeah, once we get the drywall, it'll just be a matter of mudding and taping and all of that good stuff. The worst parts of renovations. I don't know, actually, that carpet pad was disgusting. That was really bad. I think that was worse than drywall mud. Um, anyways, so yeah, so that's the plan. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up the video now. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys liked the transformation of these stairs. If you did, give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on all of our future videos and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!